Hey guys, and welcome to the new updated Viper training. So uh, I've been wanting to get this out for the last couple days, but I was waiting on a new update that rolled out today. So the new update was uh, new statistics for you. So it shows you the total number of credits that you've earned from all of your watches. And it also shows the total number of videos uh, watched ever. So all of these are videos that I've watched. So since the tool launched uh, approximately three weeks ago, I've watched uh, 6,515, let's see, 6,516. You can see I'm running the tool right now, so that's really, really cool. Uh, up here on your statistics, it shows the total number of videos that uh, you have in the queue or that you've added into the queue. Uh, total number of videos in the queue overall, there's 524 campaigns. Total number of videos watched, so over 70,000 videos have been watched. That is just incredible. So the number of uh, users that watch videos uh, so far this month, uh, 65, 16. And the total number of uh, credits earned is right here. So that's really cool. Um, and that will start to update pretty soon. This is uh, only going to be able to update since today and not the previous uh, credits you've earned in the past. Okay, so right here will be your training video. You can download your viper training tool right here so this is where you download the video traffic viper and uh, this is a very very simple setup i wanted to make the viper so darn simple that if you never watched a train video you could figure this out but if you're uh listening to this you're obviously not one of those people because you've uh looked at the training video so the first thing i want to do is i just want to grab a uh, video url here so i'm over on another screen and we're going to go to add campaign so for the title, you can name it anything you want. This is just for you to track. Now, if you have multiple clients, this is where you'd want to name it as your client name. So if you're going to be posting or creating lots of campaigns under a particular client, this is where you want to put your client's name in. And I'll show you exactly why that's important here in just a moment. But for now, I'm just going to name this uh, HQ Webinar. And I'm going to pop my watch URL in here. And I, like for me, I like to just do one URL and one keyword per campaign because that, in my opinion, is the best way of boosting your video, getting your click through, getting your search relevancy, and ranking your videos. Uh, a lot of people will stuff a ton of URLs in there, a ton of keywords, not recommended at all. Now, the update that came out today was in regards to the keywords and the URLs. Uh, the issue that was slowing the network down where people were stuffing 20, 30 keywords in here and the tool was going through every single keyword trying to find that URL and it was taking a uh, you know, ridiculous amount of time. So what I did is I had my programmers go in, no matter how many keywords you stuff in here, it's going to randomly check one keyword each time it runs it through to get a watch. So if you have 10 keywords in here that you want to have your video found for, uh, then it's going to go through one at a time. But I, I still recommend only one keyword per campaign. Now, something else to keep in mind, don't put keywords in here that are not on your video, okay? If you want to rank for a video for Amazon or um, let's say you're trying to sell an affiliate product, make sure that you have the keywords that you're wanting to put in right here on your actual video. If you do not have the video, if you do not have the keyword in your title, in your description or in your tags um, or in all three places it's not going to be able to find it and then you're going to have a stalled campaign and you're going to be complaining to me that uh, your videos are not getting any views but uh, it's not the network's problem um, it's it's that you set this up incorrectly because you put wrong keywords in that had absolutely no relevancy to your video because they're not on your video so how is the tool going to find your video unless the keywords are on your actual video. Okay, so hopefully we got that taken care of. So for this, I'm gonna say HQ webinar review, and uh, that's gonna be a launch jack. And now what I'm gonna say is I wanna have, okay, a minimum of one minute in between the views. It's gonna be a lot longer than that sometimes. Uh, there's a lot of varying protocols and uh, delays I've built into the tool to make it look natural in Google's eyes. But let's say I wanna get 500 views to it that's gonna be a total of five credits. So one credit per 100 views. Uh, I think that's extremely fair on a price. Now, I wanna also drive likes to it, so that's gonna add another five credits to the, um, 
top here, or I should say 10 credits, sorry. So let's go and put it in 10 credits. And what this is going to do is it's going to do up to 25% of your total views. So 25% of 500 views is what the tool is going to try to achieve. That's what's going to drive in for your likes. Same thing for your subscribes, same thing for your adding the favorites and your shares. Now, something to keep in mind here. If you're um, getting, you're trying to drive uh, sub subscribes here, you're trying to get subscriptions, likes, and add the favorites, they may show up at varying degrees in YouTube. And the reason behind this is YouTube doesn't count subscribes as quickly as the tool drives them in. It's just a natural way that YouTube does. YouTube has a delay. Sometimes likes will be a little bit off. And the same thing with shares and add the favorites. It's perfectly normal. Don't get upset about that. That's how YouTube is. There's delays in YouTube. YouTube doesn't accrue up extremely fast likes and shares. If they do, it looks unnatural and they take them away. So uh, this is a natural way of driving in slow views. Slow, well, not necessarily slow. It depends on um, where you are in the queue and also um, if you choose priority. Now you could choose priority and there's a high ticket price to this. Uh, if you have a client that you're trying to get ranked right now, this is going to take 500 credits. But what it's going to do is it's going to throw you in the front of the line. So out of all of those campaigns that we showed earlier, around 500 uh, campaigns sitting in, uh, it's going to throw you in the front of the line and it's going to push everybody to the back. Uh, so everybody's still getting views. They're still going through. Don't get me wrong. But uh, if you choose it, you're going to pay a high, heavy price for it. Uh, it says 500 credits added in. But you're going to get views quicker, faster. They're going to uh, go through a lot sooner than everybody else. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, once you get this done, once you have this set up, let's just say I take away add the favorites or I take away subscribes. I want to have add the favorites. It's going to be 25 credits. And I hit submit. Okay, it's success. Now, you can see right here on my campaigns page, HQ webinar, delay it has a progress bar. If you click on edit, it will tell you how far in the progress bar. It does show you the stats here, and you can deactivate it. So you can hit deactivate, you can take it out, you can change the number of views in here that you want to delay. Uh, you cannot add anything to it or the you know subscription, but you can add additional keywords if you'd like, or take away your keywords, change your keywords, uh, that type of thing. Um, so that's what you can do here. Now there is a statistics page. And you can see right here, HQ webinar initial views. So on the views right now on the video, there's 736 views. And then you can see how many are going to be driven in here. And you can see my other statistics. Viral traffic machine initially had three views. I drove 149 views, 49 likes, 31 subscribes, 45 uh, favorites. Now really on the subscriptions, I've gotten about two or three that have actually shown up. Uh, again, that's perfectly normal and natural in Google. I'm not too upset about that. Um, there is something else in here that I'm, I'm suspecting is that the tool will subscribe and then later it will view the video. It'll hit the subscription button again. And it'll actually unsubscribe. So I'm thinking that uh, there's, a, there's a little bug going on. Not a bug. It's just the way the tool is set up. And uh, that's something I'm thinking about. Okay. The next thing that we have is the API token. So the token is what you use to install your tool with. Once you download your tool, this is the tool. It's super, super simple. Uh, all you do is add your Google accounts in and that's it. So we're gonna hit stop here. Sorry, Beard King. And uh, we have my accounts. I'm gonna go to settings and this is where you put your token in. Go to settings again, add your accounts. You can go to your account wizard, uh, take out your recovery, hit okay hit start, bada bing, bada boom, off it goes, starts working on these accounts. Um, now you just saw my passwords, I gotta ask you, please don't steal my accounts. <laughs> these are uh, being used for everybody here. I mean, I'm, I'm watching all of your videos 24 seven, so uh, just let that be, but this is it. Once you get this tool rolling, uh, everything runs in the background. Now there are two quick little blips here. Uh, and it will blip up a browser twice. It'll pop them up twice and uh, it lets you know what's going on in the tool and you can see what's going on. Um, so you can minimize this if you want. You can hit hide, takes it away. It just throws it right in the background and it just works for you 24 seven in the background, which is awesome. Uh, credit history, this is a really cool thing on your credit history. So it shows, okay, I spent 25 credits here. 
Now, if I'm watching videos, it's going to show me when I receive the credit. So the last time I received the credit was on June 14th. And the reason why it stopped receiving credits for watching videos was because I hit my credit cap. So my credit cap, um, you know, for me, I had set it at 1000 a month. And uh, I'm just not going to get any more credits, but that's okay because, uh, you know, I've, I'm the owner of the tool. Okay, so that's it for running the tool. It's super, super simple, super easy to use, and uh, I know you're going to love it. Now, I'm going to pause this video, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about the delay. I'm back in here now. Now, this is the second part of your training that you absolutely need to do when you're uh, using the Viper. Uh, for any of the accounts that you're going to add into the Viper, what you need to do is go to your Google account, uh, click on Google account, and when you come here, uh, click on sign in and security. Okay, so sign in to Google. Make sure you have two-step verification off. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to come into your, oops, there we go. You want to come into your security uh, events, and you see these security events here. Um, what you want to do is you want to go and turn off your uh, security settings. So just a second. Let's see here, device activity. One, two. Okay. I just saw this. So you can turn off uh, lesser secure apps. And where did I put this? Okay. Of course, WatchPot never boils, right? Okay, I totally screwed this one up. So uh, <laughs> I was logged into my main account and I had a two-step verification on. Uh, so once you do that, once you go in here, you'll see apps with account access and you want to say allow less secure apps. It's currently off. So you want to enable this. And what this is going to do is it's going to stop all of the emails that you'll get and you'll get lots of emails. People will be emailing constantly saying, uh, you know, from Google up, oh, uh, was this you? Did you just sign in from XYZ? Was this you? Did you just sign in from XYZ? So if you turn off that lesser secure apps under signing into Google, so again, we scroll down here, apps uh, right here, allow it, you wanna make sure it's on. And once you do that, then uh, you are good to go and you will not get those notifications. If you don't do that, you'll get tons of notifications and then I'll get tons of support tickets asking uh, why the Viper is not secure. It's not about Viper, it's that Google's just not recognizing the app that it's logging in from. That's perfectly normal, perfectly fine. Uh, once you turn that uh, lesser secure apps on, you'll be good to go. All right guys, uh, hopefully this has helped you on the training and uh, this is, like I said, a super simple tool. Absolutely love it, although I might be slightly biased uh, since I created it. Uh, but it's very, very easy to use and uh, we're getting tons and tons of people that absolutely love this tool. All right, thank you so much.